All right, welcome back to New York City, everybody. I'm Coach Todd. I mean, the llama. <laughs> That's Coach Cole. This is Brooklyn, hanging out here on the side. Welcome back to another outfit workout. This is Boot Camp Challenge workout number six. We are halfway. We are going up to 12. So if you've been doing all the workouts up until this point, congratulations, you made it halfway. Um, we're gonna get all the way through. So we are gonna be doing a workout. It's gonna require one dumbbell or one kettlebell. Uh, the workout's pretty straightforward. So if you have either, you can go ahead and do which one, um, whichever. But a kettlebell is gonna be a little more technical than the dumbbell. We're gonna start off with the strength portion. We're gonna transition into a conditioning portion. And then after that, we're gonna get you out of here. So with that being said, Coach Cole's gonna get us started on a warm up. You ready, Coach? Let's do it. All right, we're gonna start with some air squats today. Nice and slow, we're not even gonna do a certain number. Just put your feet where you squat, let's go up and down for a little bit. How's your body feeling this week? Amazing. I'm feeling great, life is feeling great. I'm ready for this. That's super positive today. I, <laughs> it must be the llamas. I mean, the llamas, llamas. <laughs> the cherry one is so good. We're gonna switch from squats to some arm swings. Again, we're not gonna do a certain number. Let's just swing those arms forward. Just hanging on now. Oh, it's oddly quiet outside. Yeah, it's nice out today, too. It's it's really nice day here in New York. Go backwards, switch directions. If you're going backwards, no worries, go forwards. If you don't know which way you were going, just go some other way. Oh. Give ourselves a nice big pat on the back. We're gonna go back to the legs and then squat and some lunges this time. Nice big step forward, back into the floor. Opposite feet, just switching up. Our body's moving today. Let's stick with lunges. Let's just hit a couple nice big side lunges. This is a stretch and a movement. So big step to the right. Right heels on the floor. Sit on down. Come right back to the middle. A little big step to the left. Left heels on the floor. Sitting on down. And your other foot may come off. Feel your hip stretch out at the bottom. We'll do a couple each side. So we posted a hip mobility video this week. We did. Maybe last week. Um, and I gotta tell you, my hips felt good for two days. Two days? Crazy like one. not ten minutes. Two <laughs> days later, I was like, man, my hips are still open. Consistent stretching will do. Yeah. Uh, let's finish off with some high kicks. We'll go Frankenstein style, so both legs forward, opposite leg, opposite arm. If you're in a nice large room, you can go walk around. And we're gonna do a nice, quick 40 jumping jacks, feet out, feet in, while Todd goes and grabs our weights. So we're gonna need those at some point to work out. Count on up to 40. Not halfway there. Got a nice little E mom, E2 mom coming at us, six rounds. That's half scared to use and walk over here like a tip. I mean, letting me I'm change like, your oh, weight. what's he gonna bring me? Oh, Jesus. Jesus. <laughs> Super nice. Hang on out, take a quick drink, and talk about the workout momentarily. Do you have anything planned for the summer? Like, am I gonna go live in a, on a beach for several months? Oh, yeah. Okay. No. That would be my wish. No, I don't know. I like, Brooklyn was too small last year. So this year I want to take her on some hikes, some yeah. local hikes, and maybe weekend camping trips. That's kind of our goal. I guess I got small than that. <laughs> uh, hey, let's talk about what we're going to be doing today. Coach Cole was just saying, we're, we're on E2 month. Every two minutes, the clock's going to beep, and we're going to start back to the beginning where we were. Three movements we're going to be doing in the strength portion. We're going to be doing cleans, weighted reverse lunges, and then air squats. So two of them we've already seen in the warm-up. The one that we have it is just the dumbbell or the kettlebell clean. So Coach Cole is going to demonstrate here with his dumbbell. 
Uh, it's going to be a hip hinge, so he's going to be swinging it. Uh, he's going to hinge at the hip, chest is going to drop, open up the hips, and then he's going to finish with the dumbbell in the front rack position, so the head of the dumbbell is resting on the shoulder. Dumbbell is going to come down, he's going to go back into that swing, and again, every time, resting on the shoulder. Once he does eight cleans, he's going to do eight reverse lunges. So nice big step back, driving through the heel of that forward foot to come forward, switching legs, nice big step back. Another way of looking at it is having a vertical shin before you then go ahead and switch legs. Uh, that's good, please. Um, so he's going to do eight cleans and eight lunges on one side. We're going to do eight cleans and eight lunges on the other side. And then you're going to have some time left. I don't know, what, like 30 seconds, you think? Give or take. Yeah, so whatever time you have left, you're going to be doing an AMRAP of air squats, and that's your score for today's workout. So the cleans and the lunges on both sides, that's your buy-in. However much time you have left, you're going to try and bang out as many air squats as you can before we start over. We're going to be doing this for six rounds. So we want your cumulative score at the end. So it's just easier if you do that. However many air squats you got after the first round, let's say you got 20, start the second round on air squats with 21, 22, 23, then it's easy to figure out what the best score is. Oh, did I forget anything? Nope, six rounds. Yep, I'm gonna get a clock ready. You got about 30 seconds until we get started. Can you move like a little bit that way or are you going to have to take it out of my box? But, come on, step on you. No, you don't have to dig it up, that's better. That was easy. Ready. We're starting in 10 seconds. You're starting on your left hand side. Eight cleans, eight lunges. Three, two, one. Good. Starting on the left side. Oops. So we got two minutes to get all this work done. Eight reverse lunges. Alternating legs. It's going to be four per leg. So this is two, two, three, three, four, four. Switching sides. Got our cleans. And another eight lunges on this second side. Cool. Make sure you reach that leg back far enough that your front knee can stay right over your front ankle. Sort of stepping a lunge. It's just going to make our lunges a little bit less efficient. If we want more muscles to be used, we can get a little bit stronger reps in. When you get done with that, heading into those air squats. Feet are shoulder width apart. Think about having a nice tight stomach. Going down below parallel. Remembering below parallel. It's going to mean the crease of the hip is down below your knee as long as that back stays neutral in that position. Good. About 30 seconds to go, and then we're going to be going back from the top for cleans. Start counting these air squats. If you get to, let's say, 16 on this first round, just count right it up from 16 the next time. We don't have to restart. It's way easier to keep counting the whole workout that way. Or if you stop to talk like me, you can pause count. Well, we got 10 seconds. Or 14. We're going back to the top in just about five seconds. Cleans on the left hand side. Three, two, one. Back on that left guard. One round down. When you're doing these cleans, if you're using the dumbbell, if you're using the kettlebell, you want to try to think about keeping this arm glued to your stomach as long as possible. When you open the hip, you want the opening of the hip to be the reason your arm comes off of your stomach, not because you're anticipating the opening of the hip and you start pulling before you've actually opened the hip fully. Chance you're already on your second side. I'm trying to catch up here. Just about one minute in. We got one minute to go.
Good. Back into some air squats. If you're there, cool. Taking a good pace. I'm counting on up again. I think that was my 18th rep. About. We're going to find some quote unquote rest here during the air squats. We're not sprinting up and down. You don't need the world's fastest air squats. We're just trying to figure out squat pace that you can maintain. You can breathe through. You're ready for your next set. That's more important, in my opinion, in knowing, knowing how fast you can do them. All right, we got about 20 seconds. Back to the cleans. Nice tight stomach on these air squats. Keep that core engaged so you can keep that back neutral. 10 seconds. Three, two, one. Quick shake back on that belt. Quick reminder here, as Cloud's working, as we're getting on the round three, getting halfway through this workout. If you're ever feeling funky, having an off day, and you got an elbow or a wrist or something, feeling a little bit weird, um, please do your best at home to be nice to yourself. Work around that, all right? If your wrist has felt super funky for a couple days, don't do anything crazy and go throw a lot of weight overhead, um, or else you have to be like me and have your wrist taped up for a couple weeks. That's no fun. Um, always be aware of how your body feels. Work around it. Will you switch the sides? Go yes. Yep. Also kind of on that note though, if you are experiencing something funny, funky like that, the second that it feels better is not necessarily, it is not, when you should be all right resuming training as normal. Just because you're not feeling discomfort doesn't mean that that's the time to go back to what you're normally doing. You still should be giving it more time um, otherwise, you're going to find that you're going to aggravate probably pretty quickly whatever the issue was before, and it's going to become this lingering issue. So if you've experienced these lingering issues, pains, um, things like that, good thing, or there's a good chance once it feels better, you still really haven't given it enough time to heal. Something to think about. we got about 30 seconds to go, and then you're going to be halfway through this straight portion. And I say that. From personal experience. <laughs> Let me be clear. I get so excited because I was out of commission for something and then I ended up making it worse because I didn't give it enough time because for one day I didn't feel discomfort. 10 seconds. We are back on that bell. Three, two, one. Here we go. Time you can just keep on swinging. We are kind of start around four. We are past halfway. Little injuries, little tweaks, a little bit of wonk here and there. It's just kind of the nature of doing fitness and being on your own fitness journey. And the more you work out, whether it's running, whether it's us here virtually, whether it's abs, whether it's with your, your friends at the gym, eventually something's going to get tight. It's going to feel weird. Um, just be mindful of it, like Todd said, and give yourself some space. Cool, this wrist feels good. I'm not immediately going to go and throw 300 pounds overhead like I know I probably could because my wrist hasn't done it in a while. Be nice and gentle to ourselves. I only got two wrists. So now that we're halfway through, weighted lunges, loaded lunges, can really sneak up on people. So the first couple rounds, maybe they feel okay, and then pretty quickly that lunge starts slowing up a lot and you're really starting to feel fatigued. If that's happening to you for these last couple rounds, there's no shame. If you lose the weight for the lunges, and then just go to body weight movements. I'd much rather see you hitting eight lunges per side, and making it into the air squats every round, than hitting eight per side, but because it's loaded, it's taking you so much longer um, that you actually don't get to the air squats. So just something to think about. You got just over 30 seconds to go, and then we got our last two rounds coming up. Twenty seconds. Ooh, Todd's turning up the air squat volume. Apparently, my hips still feel good from that video. <laughs> Just like moving through it like butter. Three, two, one. Here's that dumbbell. We're on round five. We have two more rounds. 
I believe I was on air score like 56, if I'm counting right, which I'm probably not because I'm talking a lot. But two more rounds of air squats. That's what we're looking for today. Hang on together. As we get tired, like Todd said, actually one of my favorite words, sneaky. I love that word. Um, <laughs> I don't know why. Um, reverse lunges, especially weighted, can be a little bit sneaky. Make sure you feel that front foot nice and flat on the floor. Sometimes like to get a little bit toesy. Flat foot's gonna keep us stronger, moving for longer. And I rhymed again. I'm sorry. I really try not to rhyme when I coach. But I want you to rhyme. It feels so. Ugh. You can't. I'm a good rhymer. What if you ever wanted me to rhyme? I can rhyme on commands. Or give me a word. Word it's association. Not, don't say silver or orange, but give me a word to rhyme with. <laughs> Arby's. Arby's. Um, ooh, that's actually very hard. Oh, man. <laughs> that's the first one I thought of. All right, about 40 seconds. We got this round to finish up, and we got one more round after that. Take a break, we'll get some water. Talk about what's coming up next. Arms with Arby's. Well, Arby's is a proper noun, so. You know. Things don't rhyme with proper nouns? No, but just like, I don't know if that counts for a rhyming game. <laughs> you got about 15 seconds to go. You could use it in Scrabble. <laughs> if you think that Arby's is a legit word for a rhyming game, let us know. You think the Arby's and curly fries are good? Also, let me know. Three, Three two, one. Here we go. Use that left arm. Give me eight cleans in. This is your last time with these cleans for the day. When you're swinging, keep that elbow nice and glued. Think about moving that dumbbell or kettlebell kind of nice and close to your body. The closer we move weights, the less distance they travel, and the less distance you push a weight, means less work you gotta do. But we are here to work out, but we're here to work out efficiently. Not giving ourselves. Extra work. That's the work. Let's try. 90 seconds to go. Last round. Let's go. Here we go. To be clear, do you like Arby's curly fries? Oh, I love Arby's. I'm like, not sure who doesn't. Um, I think Arby's gets a very bad rep. At least in the, not the social media sphere, but I think Arby's is a good restaurant. As far as that, I don't eat fast food often at all, but when I do. Last minute, last minute, here we go. Sadly, I order a lot more sweet green than Arby's. Sweet green is a mixed salad place. Yeah, in New York. Shut up. They used to be a lot better. Yes, we reach shout out to anyone who lives like New England, upstate New York. If you ever been to like a Core Life? Put that in the comments. Core Life is the, like the, my favorite restaurant ever. It's kind of like Sweet Green. Thirty seconds. New York City peeps, but it's so much better. Or I think there are Core Life's in Long Island too. Anyone's out Hong Kong, come up. Twenty seconds. Let's go. Let's Last one. Two. This is your final score. Every rep counts. We want to see it down in the comments. Last 10 seconds, let's do it. Five, four, keep squatting, keep squatting. Two, one, nine. All right, take a quick breath. Run up to the computer, hit that pause button right now. Please tell us how many squats you did. Also, just keep it down there for yourself if we ever need it again. How many squats, Todd? Somewhere between one and a thousand. Somewhere between one and a thousand. I believe that. I believe that is the answer. Honestly, I was in I think I was in about 15 for. Honestly, I was in timing, but if we weren't talking, each round would have taken me about a minute. So it would have been about a minute of air squats. 25, minutes, 25 air squats a minute means that getting 150 air squats is very possible, very reasonable. Have a quick drink in about 30 seconds. I will talk about our workout today. It's also EMOM. Every minute this time. Okay. 
All right, now we're catching our breath here. We have a 15 minute imam coming. We have four different movements. That means the first four minutes are going to be movement, 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 movement. Fifth minute is going to be reps. We'll hit three rounds, we'll be out of here. All right. First movement is all chain, single arm swings. Come on, to grab that kettlebell or dumbbell with one arm, please. He's going to give it a nice big swing up to eye level. He's going to switch hands in front of his face. All for that whole minute. All right, he's going to work as long as he can. We will count you down until the next minute comes. I want you to work as full of a minute as possible. He is now going to stick the bell on the floor. Minute two comes around. He's going to hit a burpee on the left side. All the way down to the floor, hopping up and over, just like so. Good. Two's good enough. You can take some rest. Try to check him soon to make sure he doesn't hit his head. How tall do you think you are? Um, I know how tall I am. <laughs> I'm, I'm really not 6'8". Well, I'm a real 5'10". Um, but a lot of 5'9s are still 5'10". My license is 5'11". Um, all right, for minute number three. Yep, we're going to move on from that. For minute, minute number three, Todd's going to hit the floor. We're going to do some dead bugs. I'm going to say left arm, right leg. He's going to extend those, bring them back in. Right arm, left leg. If I say it, bring it out. Good, Todd, you're good. Then for our fourth minute, Todd's going to hop back up. He's going to give me a combo today. Some of the best food. Best food. Uh, Brandon's going to combo meal of 10 high knees. Combo number four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then 10 squat jacks. He can just do one, two, three for me. Two, three. And the fifth minute, you'll rest. Well, we got three rounds. We're starting about 45 seconds with single arm swings. Don't you have anything? You look like you're pretty good. Alright, with four minutes of work, you got a full 60 seconds of rest. We're doing this for three rounds. Ready, coach? I'm ready. Coach is ready, I'm ready. Let's do it. Starting in 10 seconds. I'm 5'11 and I'm ready. I'm <laughs> starting with single arm swings in five. Four, three, two, one. Quick trick for these. Um, as your right arm is swinging up, bring your left arm up early right in front of your face. That's going to help you find that the switcheroo moment a little bit easier if your left hands are right, ready to meet the belt and switch hands. Cool. If we're really struggling with the switch, we just can't hang on to it. I do want us to work out, so you may do like five swings on your right, five swings on your left. If you're just going to, by mistake, drop the belt, throw it out your living room window, hit someone on the head. Let's not do that today. But if you're cool switching, let's keep switching. We're 30 seconds in. All right, we got about 20 seconds to go. Next station is going to be burpees over your bell. 15. Switch it in 10. We're going to hit the floor in five, four, three, two, one. Put that weight down. Again, two foot takeoff. Two foot landing, ideally hopping over the bell. If you're more comfortable hopping behind, please do so. If you want to go over the bell and give you a step, that's all right as well. We'll keep yourself moving. You'll hear Todd and I talk about when we do push-ups here, keeping our elbows relatively close to our body, we're not doing some chicken wings. Easy to think about push-ups, sometimes easy to forget during burpees. Cool. Todd's doing a great job of when his hands are on the floor next to his chest, his elbows are relatively tucked in, 45 degrees or less. Let's give me a nice strong press out out of the bottom again. We're a little bit over halfway. Okay, you got 20 seconds to go. And then we're going to be going into our dead bug. Dead bug has you on the ground. One of us is going to be calling out our commands. So you'll just be listening very attentively. I'll go first. On the ground or the call out? On the ground. Fantastic. You're on the ground in three, two, one. All right, dead bugs. Left arm, left leg. Right arm, right leg. Both arms. Both legs. Left arm, right leg. Right arm, left leg. That was always hard for me. Left arm, right leg. Right arm, left leg. Right leg, both arms. Right leg. Both arms, got it. Left arm, both legs. Both arms, right leg. 
You got 15 seconds. Both arms. Both legs. Both arms, both legs. Pull yeah. back for five, four, three, two, one. Wonderful. All right, we are in. 10 high knees. Here we go. 10 squat jacks. Time gets to start because I'm on the floor. Whoa. We're coming up my arms. So you're just repeating this for 60 seconds. High knees and squat jacks. Remember, we got a minute of rest coming up after this. So, no reason to try to slow it down. No reason to try to shave off five or 10 seconds at the end. Working for a full minute. Good. Halfway there. Okay, last 20 seconds. Let's go, let's go. Last 15. Keep on moving. Four, five, four, three, two, hang on, and good. Woo. One minute off. Nice job, our friend. Got one round in. We got two more to go. Nice work. Grab a drink. 45 seconds. What's your favorite fast food restaurant? Favorite fast food restaurant. Um, different items have different things, but if I only get to choose one, I'm probably gonna say Wendy's. Wendy's. It's like drive around and get a few on your way. Well, if they're in the if, if they're in the row, then you can get like fries at McDonald's, which is just so true. No frosty at Wendy's. Mm. Put them together. Do you we dip? probably should be No, no. We, we talk about you very healthy, but eat, talking about healthy food is just no fun. I can talk about carrots if you want, but like, uh, uh, steamed chicken, which is usually yum, right, right? chicken and rice. Woo! All right, we're back on single arm trains in three, two, one. Get it rocking. What was yours? Did you tell me? Uh, I did not. Oh. Um. I mean, in and out. If I was in California, I'm not in California, so maybe I wouldn't feel that way if I lived out there and had it all the time for I want to. Well, I just I think um, moderation makes things better. Yeah. Like if you had once day, a year. Yeah. <laughs> That's why the ice cream truck is so great. You don't get it all the time. Twenty yeah. seconds. If the ice cream truck came every day, you just wouldn't really want it. Like when I lived yeah. over in Van Leeuwen's ice cream, I mean, it was one. Now that I know it, I want it all the time. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. On the floor, hit a burpee, get over the bell. We know the drill. So for this, now that we're on our second round, maybe a little more winded than you were that first time. So a way of slowing this down is thinking about when you get to the ground, take a second. Take a second when you get up, take a second when you hop. And if you think about building in a little bit of rest every couple seconds, you'll be able to find a, a pace that you can maintain. And I'd much rather see you maintain a pace throughout the whole minute and then try to increase that pace, how much work you can do in a minute, over time, then having bursts of energy, and then having to rest, bursts of energy, having to rest. Learning how to pace yourself throughout the time, knowing how your body is. We're switching in five seconds. Todd's gonna get on the ground for me in three, two, one, legs and arms up, here we go. Both arms, good, both arms. Left arm, left leg. Left arm, left leg. Right arm. Right leg. Right arm, right leg. Both legs. Good. Left arm, left leg. Halfway. Right arm, right leg. Right arm, left leg. Left leg, right arm. <laughs> Right leg, left arm. 
Good. Both arms, both legs. Good. Come back in. Okay. Good. <laughs> both legs. Both arms. Right arm, right leg. And good. Hop on up, my knees. Squat jacks. Same thing with the burpees goes to the squat jacks. Cool. Take a pace so you can catch a breath at that little hop in between. Then hop on out. Cool, I can probably do, I don't know, what do we think? 40 or 50 squat jacks in a minute. If I had to, I probably couldn't do that for four minutes in a row. Cool. Squat, breathe. All right, about 30 seconds in, 30 seconds to go. We have a minute of rest coming up after this. Again, let's push it right up until that beat. Good. Just about 20 seconds. Then we get a minute of rest. Hang on for me. You're going for five, four, three, two, and there's your beat. Hang on out. Two down. One to go. We're past that. Last four minutes of work coming up. How did I get sucked in the dead bugs twice? Isn't that great? It's great, I get extra abs in, hell yeah. All right, about 40 seconds, going back to the top. You got four minutes of work, then we're gonna get you out of here. If you've gotten this far, remember, this is our last round. Let's try to hit it really hard. End it nice and strong. About 40 minutes later, time went by. Time went mm -hmm. by. All right, we have about 20 seconds, and that's gonna be the last time for our alternating uh, Russian swings. 15. Back out in 10. Alternating that single arm swing in three, two, one. Here we go. Remember, set yourself in a pace. You have four minutes of work coming here. You don't even have the rest at the end because you're done with the workout at the end. So give them four minutes. Some good old switcheroos to start off with. Hang on in. Trying to put that weight down today. All right. Looking good. Looking good. Got about 30 more seconds of these swings. Then we got burpees for the last time. Hang on for me. Take some big breaths in here. Breathe when that breathe in when that weight feels a little bit weightless at the top. That's when you have the most room for air. The more room for air, the better. We can all universally agree on that. We're on burpees in five, four, three, two. Weights on the floor. Get on down. Hop on over. Anything on? Let's do it. Cool consistency is key here. Breathe, hop, floor, and wait. Twenty seconds in. Hang on for me. If you get up and over the bell, find yourself on the floor. Like Todd said, you can always take a breath down there. At least get some of the breath going. Keep, our, keep ourselves on the move. Less than thirty seconds. Twenty seconds. Ten. Hang on, give me two more burpees at least. One. Good. Todd back down. Two. On the floor in three. Two. One. Left arm, left leg. Uh -huh. <laughs> left arm, right leg. Right arm, right leg. Right arm, left leg. Both legs, right arm. That took me a second. Stay longer than I should have. Le uh, both arms, right leg. That's what I wanted to do last time. Both legs. Good. Both arms. Good. Both arms, both legs. You know. Good. Left arm, right leg. Last time. 
Right arm with left leg. Concentration. Good. Both arms. Good. Both legs. Good. Both arms, both legs. Hold for four, three, two, one. Here we go. Good. Find those high knees in. Then find the squat jacks in. You are here for a minute. High knees and squat jacks. Here we go. on and get the work done. Let's go. We're up. We're up. We're up. Right to our foot. Last 40 seconds. Keep on squatting, come on, keep on jumping. Whatever's happening today is gonna happen for another 30 seconds. That's all I ask for. 30 seconds, you and your breath, wherever you are, go for it, hang on for us. 20 seconds. 15. Back to the high knees, back to the squat jacks. I don't care where you are, I just care that you go for another six. Five, four, three, two, last squat jack, and it is time. Woo! Oh, sorry, bro. Almost stepped on you. Hi. Hi. All right, all right, all right. Congratulations, you got to the end. Here we are, six workouts later. As you start to catch your breath, as I start to catch my breath, a couple final thoughts. If you haven't already, Please go ahead, like this video, and subscribe to the channel. Subscribing to the channel helps us out a ton, and it also gives you notifications when we post new workouts or new videos, like that mobility video that I was talking about earlier. If you're in New York City, one, we have classes every Saturday in Manhattan, Brooklyn, and Queens. Information is out on our website. You can find the link down in the description. If you're also in New York City, same boroughs, we have private training available. All the workout gear, we got tons of workout gear online. Um, all that's gonna be available on the website. Um, if you wanna find Coach Cool, Brooklyn, myself, or Outfit on Instagram, all that's down in the description. And then last thing, if you didn't already do it, please leave your score. Remind your score was the total air squats uh, from the strength portion. With all that being said, until next time, I'm Coach Todd. I'm Coach Cool. This is Brooklyn. Peace, Peace out. <laughs>